I have always been amazed with the power of observation. In the manufacturing line, observing and being beside an equipment that's vibrating. Observation of the sound, the smell, and even the feeling of smooth finish of a particular product. In software, I'm always observing where corruptive files comes up, because files do corrupt itself, the code corrupt themselves, and even the humming of the servers. Right? Maybe mentally I imagine that. In the logistics field, it might be equipment, robotics running very quickly. In conversations with people, you're talking about observations of body language. You're talking about expressions, words that are spoken. Why is uh, observation and the art of observation important? Because it is by observation that we infer, that we refer, that we abstract and we differentiate things. We isolate things, we make judgments. We anticipate as a result of that, and more importantly, we see a pattern. Unfortunately, in many of our sessions and training design, what we do is we want people to not observe. We want them to see steps one, two, three, four, five, learn the content, but devoid of those observations. So I love observations, and a few things you might want to do in order to do this are very, very simple. Have an exercise of journaling. If you're running a course, if you're running a program, you're implementing a project, ask people to come up with a journal and reporting what they have observed. It could be smell, it could be sound, it could be body language, it could be the words that's being used, because this will hone in for them to find out the valuable insights so that they can infer, they can generate judgment, and they can learn in the process. So observations, I encourage you, to test and find the option of using it.